Zachary Bearheels, a 29-year-old man, died at the hands of the Omaha Police Department back in 2017. Today, the city of Omaha settled with his family and will pay out more than half a million dollars. Reporter Kent Lutzen has more. Uh, I believe the handling of the killing of Zachary Bearheels has and continues to be a gross miscarriage of justice. The Omaha City Council approved a $550,000 settlement for the family of Zachary Bearheels, a Native American man who died in Omaha police custody after being punched and tased repeatedly. Many in attendance at Tuesday's settlement say no amount of money will bring Bearheels back. Where is the accountability? How did Zachary Bearheels end up dead in police custody? This is something we should all ask ourselves. The $550,000 is a slap in the face to Zachary's family and to Zachary's memory. In the weeks following his death, Omaha Police Chief Todd Schmatter fired four officers for the way they handled Bear Heels, who was struggling with mental health. Three of those four officers were reinstated. They heard from the community. A lot of it wasn't positive, but the fact of the matter is, was that this police chief and this police department was up front in terms of the issue related to Zachary Bear Heels. Three years after Bear Heel's death, many stand in solidarity with recent protests happening across the country calling for the defunding of police. I just want people to know that Zach wasn't just a police brutality victim. He was an uncle, son, friend, classmate, nephew, and grandson. They ripped our family in half and left us in pieces. I pray no family ever has to feel this again. I want those officers to be criminally charged. In Omaha, Kent Lutzen, 3 News Now. An autopsy attributed Bear Hill's death to excited delirium. None of the officers involved have been convicted.